Okay. Let me actually get Hello, it. ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Winston's Master Duel Rain Table. I'm your host, I'm from my Media TV, and I am joined by the two digital warriors, uh, Digi and Zero Blind Star. Today Well uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lighter It's a lighter day today, but we are uh getting right into it. So Oh yeah. Uh let's get started with the news this week, shall we? Uh, I'm going. I haven't been keeping up with everything, so I'm going to be going through uh, magical meta and that stuff just of our bases. Uh, we have uh, like what we said last week. The Ragnarika stuff is very much on its way. Nothing particularly new, um, although we do have like actual guarantees of like of, of more guarantees of what will be coming with the Ragnarika cards. Moving on closer to dual links, uh, uh, Zero has been playing significantly more uh dual links yeah sorry uh, i have to fix I, I have to fix the win i have to fix the window capture because for some reason they decided to be like oh herbert, 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 herbert just not gonna fucking display it while we were uh screen sharing yay yeah, yeah right oh, these were all the oh. right these were the, these were the ragnarica card things whatever then uh, we've got a couple new cards coming. This was this these came out on the twenty sixth. We have a new rush duels uh, normal monster. It's a level four five hundred a fifteen hundred attack uh, plant wind monster. So if you have a deck that that fits in, good for you. But again, this is a shitty vanilla. Uh, we also have sunlit sentinel coming. Sunlit sentinel is a level six earth warrior monster that uh, a lot that can be set in the spell trap glow zone as a spell. And once returned during the semi phase of the next turn after this card, set card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, and you can special summon this card, then destroy all your opponent's cards in this column, which is not which is not terrible. Um, it's a little slow, and Duel Links is a much faster game than it used to be, but you know what can you do? That's it. And lastly, on the TCG card reveals, we have the new uh, uh, Malice cards coming out and stuff of like that. We've got specifically the new Malice Queen. Plate Binder, a Link 3 Dark Cybers monster with 2300 attack, top, left, and right arrows, requiring two monsters, including a Malice monster. We don't know. Malice probably is not set in stone as far as the archetype name. Uh, Konami Pur like Puritans in America are probably going to do some weird censorious shit. But then again, they are, they are letting waifus and stuff be Pat Show skin and stuff now more than they did back in the day, so who fucking knows? Its effect is, if this card is special summoned, you can target up to three cards in any graveyards, banish them. During your main phase, you can set one Malice Trap from your deck or graveyard. If this card is banished, you can pay 900 life points, special summon this card. Then, you can draw one card, you can only use this effect once per turn. I do not know how the new Malice cards work, necessarily. I presume that they have on-banish effects, so this being special summoned kind of allows you to enable some shenanigans. Um, it allows you to set a mouse trap. Maybe I don't. I don't know how powerful that particularly is. Um, and then on, when itself is banished, you can special summon it and you plus one off. Not bad. Life points are a are a resource. Uh, are a risk in name only. The only life point that matters is the last one. Um, but as far as actual news, that is basically it for today. Moving on, we can move on to. Notable duels from this week. I have one to start with right off the bat as we get into it. Um, I'm going to be perfectly honest. This was a duel that was unbelievably frustrating for me to deal with. It was, in particular, it was a duel where I was playing Voiceless Voice. Love Voiceless Voice. I've gotten to Diamond in it. Pretty far into Diamond, all things considered. Chara is very not happy at me hmm. because I keep playing the, the deck poorly and I keep winning. And he's very upset by that. I digress. <laughs> what? Yeah, because so I keep, because I play some. He's upset that you win because you play your poorly with that deck. No, he's he's upset because I play suboptimally and I and I constantly make mistakes, but I still win somehow through like lady the benevolence oh. of lady luck. That's why that's where his frustrations come from. I will say that this duel was particularly ah, frustrating. Luck. Yeah, this duel was particularly frustrating uh, for uh, me, um, simply for the fact that. I, I was going against a uh, TTT, de uh, a, uh, not TTT deck, a, um, one of those decks that t plays, plays that uh, card that says you cannot special summon for the rest of the duel, and it basically allows you to draw two cards, normal summon twice, and like one other thing. And it's it's goofy, and it's just 
all it's in all the stun decks and it's nuts. Tons of fairy tale uh um Luna, tons of uh you know bullshit floodgates and it just and I kept breaking his board every single time, not enough for me to be able to drink it. Honestly, I was I got a little eager and I should have popped his face down before going to the battle phase. I was had the ability to, I didn't. And he drowned in mirror force me, and I was not able to get my res I was not able to get my resources back up after getting my voices voice skull guardian sent back into the deck. And I it, I, it was just an uphill battle from there to the point where I'm just like I don't want to fucking deal with this, and I surrendered. This was in plat oh, one, man. by the way. I want you two to talk about that fucking unhinged match I saw the other day where. Digi had where Digi had three copies of Exodia, and Zero for some re had locked up every goddamn zone. Please tell me okay. how it got to that. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> oh man, I don't, I don't so... even know where to start with that. So we we I I start I start off with uh uh what did I start off with uh did you you remember it was like honestly I'm I'm not too sure because like you you had your Shangri you had your Shangri La deck you were it's playing Sh Shangri La just say yeah, Shangri La it's Shang it's 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 Shang Kashira Shang Shangri La or Shangri Era we say Shangri La. Shang yeah, we, we say shangri because shangri wine. won. It, there, it's... Basically, the reason behind that was, like, there's this one song I listened to by Camila Cabello and Pharrell Williams called shangri Wine. And then I and then I read the card shangri Era as shangri -Ra, And then I thought of that song, and I was like, She do the shangri Wine. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's basically the story behind that. But anyways, back to the duel. So uh I I don't even remember who had the upper hand before Shangri-La just took out all the spaces. Almost all the spaces. It was like Yeah. Sure, but not Cause, because like I think like um, it started with you mopping me, but then I was starting to get the upper hand the more pieces of Exodia I got. But then mm -hmm. fucking you had to pull out Shangri La and just fucking yeah. I, I just want to say to the record yeah. for everybody listening, I did not consent to this or nor do I approve of this pronunciation of Shangri La. <laughs> I mean, wait, I mean are, are, are people actually going to get pissed that I'm pronouncing it like that? No, but I am, and that's what matters. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm well. sorry. <laughs> oh. I, 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 I can't help that's the way I'm pronouncing it. Oh, Because that I, song, I still again... I still technically pronounce it Shangri... Uh, Chongri era, but it, 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 for 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 Digi, I also technically, I there are two ways I say it. Uh, one where it's just like generic, like Chongri era, and then mm -hmm. when I'm around Digi, which is what we were explaining earlier. Right. Yeah. So but back to the hey. goal. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, back to the duel. I I started off with the with, with the thing. I want to be I want to be I very one, clear to know. everybody that not only were all of zero zones locked up from the effect of of of, of um Shangri-La. My Also my every spell out. and trap zone was in in the EMZ was filled with monsters and spell cards. On fucking zero's field, like there, like it was yeah. a, it, it it was it was it bordered it was it was it's not, not bordered it was bu like bullying in Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> mm. I mean that's technically that that's technically my reason of playing Master Duel. 
is just bully, bully, he, bully. <laughs> and when I'm actually he likes to I'm commit actually, war crimes. War crime dot deck, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was the. This was the war crime deck. Like <laughs> it, it's a deck that literally says commit war crimes. And it and says that. And then you also have that reason. one. Yeah. I also and have I that, that one, one deck. deck. The fucking the 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 Michael Jackson deck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Mike. Yes, because uh, all the lore of that deck. Like I had a deck called the Hee Hee deck. And, and did what you notice? famous person do we know says he he? <laughs> Michael so Jackson. We exactly. So we decided to start calling that deck the Michael Jackson deck just for the fun of it. Like, <laughs> like in no way are we meta players. Me, no, me and Digi. Yeah. Like we. We will never do meta. Unless I actually want to do ranked, and it's on my own time. I mean, yeah. here's, the th here's the thing. Pet decks and fun are, are great, but, like, they're, like, you know, occasionally there is a meta deck that is, that, you, that you just fucking jive with, you just can't stop playing. And Voiceless Voice is what is that for me right now. Like, I love the deck mm. a lot. Like, it's um, I, I, I love Ritual, you know, I love Ritual play. Now, granted, it doesn't have a, like the meta, the meta version doesn't have too much like flex space for um you know playing some pet deck cards, but I found a couple that I like. I love the Safira retrain in the deck. It basically does everything the old Safira did, but better. You, on summon, and this is my notable card. I probably was my notable card last week too, but I don't give a shit. I love the card. If I want to talk about it, on ritual summon, mm. it is a draw two, discard one. On, when any of your monsters that, that in voiceless voice attack that are rituals, um, it makes your opponent randomly discard a card, and it can add a, a, a spell ritual spell from the graveyard during the end phase. Mm. It's, it's solid. Like uh, you get all impressive. unlike unlike picking one effect with the original security you do per turn, you get to do all of them. Nice. It's good, Ooh. but. Wow, any nice. is there any cards that you guys have been fiddling with or like that you wanted to talk about recently? I uh, have been trying to grind for the deck that Chara made me. I have <laughs> been doing ranked battle after ranked battle because, like, don't get me wrong, my blue eyes deck is like good and all, but I really want to put into action what Chara made for me because I have a feeling that once I start employing. The, the 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 deck Chara made for me. You'll you'll be able to like, actually become... be a threat. Yes, precisely. He will improve. I mean, technically speaking, like if I if I yeah, I I I will improve dramatically. Cause like I'm I'm decent with my blue eyes deck, but even then I still have to have my Exodia pieces to kind of fucking have at least one sixty fourth of a chance. Yeah, and the and the blue eyes exodia is like, uh, it's a required deck for us to have. Mm -hmm. As as a digital warrior, we must have a blue eyes exodia deck. I uh, I would have thought I would have thought cybers, uh, cybers deck would be more thematically consistent with the digital warrior I branding. Mean, for, for uh, honestly, for I wanted I wanted like a machine themed deck, cause like going Math back Mac. a couple years, huh? Be Math Mac. Like play pure Math. Mac. Play pure yeah, Math. Ma Wait, Math Mix. Play Hold pure on, let me get a me... Math. Yeah. Mix. They 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 go into a, 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 a they go into a they go into a six k unga bunga beater. They're super consistent, and <laughs> if you bunga. if you play the pet deck variant of it, which is you know pure bath deck, you're you uh you you know you're not you know having all and you don't want to have all of the war crime you know cards like access Whip dog or ip masquerade. Like, you can just end on a big ass bingus every turn, and 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 it's super repeatable, and it's you know it's. They are quite literally 
digital warriors. Damn. That 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 is like a double meaning right there. Yeah, like they're like they're like cybers cards, like so digital cards, and they're also like mm. big ass fucking like like warriors and shit with swords and shit. So I go I'd say like that I'd say there's I think I'd say that's thematically consistent. I like yeah. the sound of that. Though the question is, how would yeah. I acquire such a deck in Master Duel? Um uh I have an idea. Uh I'm going to make one right the fuck now. Um, oh, okay. But uh otherwise um, in ter in terms of other formats real quick. Uh Zero, you said that you were getting uh, into Duel Links. What is the meta currently? What is like the current like experience of playing uh, Duel Links at the moment? I haven't like I haven't gone like through the meta work mother meta uh uh way of duel links, but I have been getting back into playing what I uh originally had played back in the day. Uh decks such as Luna Lights and of course Blue Eyes. Oh wow, Luna like I, I remember back in the day when I was playing Duel. I would tell anybody, like, listen, go get the fucking blue, like, the, the structure deck, like, the fucking, open the packs that has, like, blue eyes and luna lights in it, and you will get, you, you will be, and, like, just, like, go build for, try and build blue eyes. Uh, blue eyes you can build relatively cheaply, and then, and then, over time, because, like, they're in the same pack, try to build luna lights, because it is repeatable, consistent, and you'll be able to get games off. Mm -hmm. But like that was again pre-pandemic, so oh no 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 it was like no that was back in twenty twenty one twenty 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 one you know and we're but almost to half yeah it was post game but like I thought it was pre pandemic for a second um most of my like uh, like I didn't I didn't get it really into streaming until uh, after the pandemic but you know I I was making podcasts and stuff before it was cool. I started this shit. I published my first ever episode of a podcast about HI Soapbox with my buddy Dan Morris the, on, uh, on um, oh. I think July 18th, uh, 2018. And that was the in. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I digress. Um, but yeah, so basically, so basically, hmm. it, it's a, basically it's a, you're trying to get see how the old decks are working and getting back. I think I respect that. Yeah, um, like, okay. I've really wanted to get back into it, uh, despite me uh, just not liking the deck, or yeah. not not liking the game as much as. I I uh, think that the speed duel format is really really great. I think that the way they implemented it with all of the pay to win bullshit in in duel links is deeply unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, back like when it's like not because uh, one of the main reasons why I'm just getting back into it is actually two reasons. One, uh, omitted keeps pestering me to get back into it. He's another digital warrior, zero two six four, I believe. Yeah, uh, I think Evan has met him. I think. Admitted? Has yeah, I met him. Admitted. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the he yeah he's the malefic slash time lord user. Mhm. Mm it was the it was the one that was going against me and was like, I I would play something and he's like, yeah, no fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like. He, he and I are, like, on par with each other. Oh, that's good. Even though we played, like, the ex we, we started the exact same day. Uh, moving on to, uh, yeah. pack, moving on to pack openings. Digi, would you like yeah. to tell us any, uh, um, uh, shiny cards you've gotten? Oh, yeah, of course. And this segment is going to be as twice as long as it normally is because I got both Infinite Forbidden and the Retro Pack. 
I opened all the Infinite Forbidden stuff, and I'm saving the Retro Pack for a little bit later because I want to savor the retroness. Okay, so first pack of Infinite Forbidden. The first shining we've got is a water monster by the name of Magicoloidal Soul. An Aqua Tuner of 400 attack points and 300 defense points. Holy shit, that monster's weak. But it's a tuner monster, so it has some use. Alright, on to the pile with you. From the second pack, we've got... My Dolce Queen Tiara phrase. And XYZ... Yeah, my Dolce. An XYZ monster... With 2,600 attack points and 2,500 defense points. And man, oh man. She looks very interesting, to say the least. Alright, and I'm getting a lot of dupes from previous packs. Like, I'm already noticing... Those. Like, I'm already noticing the fucking gimmick puppet. That was literally in the first ever Infinite Forbidden pack I opened up. And I have it in this pack. For the third one. So, the... The highlight of this pack is a fire monster by the name of Tenpai Dragon Genroku. Ooh, that's the big boy. No... Oh! Is it, is it the, is no it, is it the Synchro? And... Oh, no, it's not. It's the red one. Yeah, no, that's one of your enablers for uh, being able to play Tenpai. It's a, if you remember, Tenpai uh, what was... Uh, Mirrorless back when he was in, um, went to his, uh, uh, regionals, he got, he went against a lot of Tenpai and, like, lost a few times to it. He got lucky a handful of other times. Hey, Chara, what's up? We're doing right. the pack openings. I want death. All right. Mm. Look who's here. Perfect. Hello, Chara. All right. Last pack of Infinite Forbidden. We've got, oh, it's a dupe of Susurus of the Sinful Spoils. Wait, okay. Where? I got I got that card a second time, cause I remember that was a shiny from the. Do you, want, do you want three of that one? I want three of the sinful spoils. You should. Is it useful? Yeah, sinful spoils. So, anyways, um, did you cover leaks? Uh. As we talked about the uh, Malice cards, but I, I, um, DK didn't have anything outside of the Ray Marika stuff from last week in Concrete. Get fucked, some... I'm better at finding shit. Uh, we got, and we might be getting Ancient Gears. We're getting the more Ancient Gears for Ancient Gears stuff? Yeah, more uh, Ancient Gears Statue, shit? Commander, yeah, Tanker, uh, Dragon, that. Dark Golem, Advance, and Duel. Okay. And um, now let's start opening. Oh, go for it, DJ. I'm sorry. I mean, if you guys want to keep finishing, like I'll, I'll, I'll keep opening my packs for the retro stuff, and then I'll let you know when I got them all. All right. Finish. Um, finish talking. So yeah. Also, so the main thing that's gonna be nice here is that uh, ancient gears will be getting an actual fucking spell trap negate. No shit, really. Yeah, Ancient Gear Dragon. When your opponent activates a spell or trap card effect, you can send to the Graveyard War Machine monster from your hand or face up field or one Ancient Gear Golem from your deck and negate the effect. Oh, that's awesome. And it gets you in. And... Holy shit, that's a big ass spider that's crawling across my screen. Holy shit. Um, uh oh. Anyway, so the caveat about Ancient Gear Dragon is um, he can't be special summoned. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. And if you control, and the only way to summon them is if you control no monsters, or if all the monsters you control are Earth Machine monsters, you can normal summon it without tributing. I remember hearing that that card was kind of cheeks. It, it's ass, but it is a spell trap in the game. Yeah, is it worth? Is it, it, it? It's a shame that that is the spell trap in the game that they got. All right, we got all four packs open. Let's take a look at the highlights real quick. That is, if there are any highlights. I'm, I'm uh, gonna keep it a oh. bean. I'm actually happy that that fucking spider is in here because there's like fucking gnats and shit in the house, and like I'm completely okay with the spiders being here. Okay. 
Alright, let's see. So the first highlight of the first retro pack is Graceful Charity. A spell card that allows you to draw three cards, then we, we all, we, we all, we, we everybody useless. knows Graceful. It's useless <laughs> because it's everyone banned. Knows, everyone knows uh, that card is banned. banned. That card is banned for very good reason. Like, Pot of Greed oh, will, will come back before Graceful Charity. It, it, it's kind of a similar reason why, uh... By the way, I hope you know I am building a fucking deck when Ragnarok has come out, just around zero locking people. Okay. It's, not, right. a now, it's not a cash deck? Uh, zero lock is worse than cash. Hmm. Oh. I right, try to yeah. prevent you from playing the game. All right, let's see. The once you finish, from... once you finish with that deck, could you uh, send a copy to the me? No, I already sent you a trap tricks version of Ragnarok. Raiko. Oh, it was the. You didn't send me the the list itself. You just. You... Oh, I forgot to send you a screenshot of the list. Whoopsies. Nah, you're 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 good. You're good. I was already. Um, I was also okay. kind of making a methmic list so that I can meth also. Meth? Yes, methmic. Um, yes, can... I know. All right, go ahead. Okay. Second highlight of the second retro pack is Gate Guardian. With an attack power of 3,750 and a defense power of 3,400. Holy shit. Man, he looks cool and man, he's strong. Alright. Now, third pack. Let's see. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, what is that? Well, well, Monster Reborn. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, expensive what? cards in the I game. Have the, I have the magic card version. More, but more usable than Graceful Charity. Oh, 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 is it considering it's only played at one? Yeah, it's. I mean, let's be let's let's be so fucking for real. If. If Monster Reborn was at three, would people be playing three of it? No, exactly. Oh. And I got I would. actually yes, actually they, they actually would actually. Play. Why you say that? I would. Okay. I would be playing it's it at a three. Free, it's a free re revive essentially. Okay. Exactly. That's why. Now, on and to Blue the Eyes final would have the most use of for it. All right, on to the final highlight. We've got oh, right arm of the forbidden one, and it's shiny mm. too. You need to get what you a need coincidence. To, we we need to get you a second a a, a a second camera so you can do hand cams, did you? Yes. In fact, I have an Elgato hand cam on my throne, so. Crowdfunding why, why, is open why, on that. Why Elgato, though? They're so fucking expensive, and their stuff like becomes obsolete within like two years because of their uh, because they they um, deprioritize them. You know. He can English. I didn't really think of any other brand. English is different because like. All right, this was uh, definitely quite interesting. I was not expecting to get an Exodia piece. Cause like I've already got all five pieces in Exo of Exodia with the freaking uh, legendary decks. Anyway, do you, do you want me to actually send you the throne list for the uh, thing? Uh, uh, nah, just um, if you'd like, you can, it, honest, if you want to, when I post the YouTube, you can you can uh, comment uh, when you when I post the YouTube and premiere for it. Uh, which is still some of the okay. for You can just I, you can just post the link there, and I'll pin it for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. But I gotta say, this was definitely quite a good haul tonight. But yeah, uh, Char, is there anything you wanted to mention before we start saying our goodbyes? 
Evan sucks at playing voiceless voice. I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of misplays I saw with that man. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm still at fucking Diamond 3 or some shit. Oh, man. So who wants to see a deck that actually uses Odo Derricks? Uh, in a, in a second, let me let me give the goodbyes. Um, no, I was gonna, this is the fucking this is a show off like from me smithing from uh Ragnarika. From oh, share, sh feel free to share your screen uh, and give us the the deck breakdown. Share that screen. Uh, I would be able to uh also want to send actually. No, ready. Hold so, on. for this deck, we have one copy of Nephilibus, the um, Ogdor, though it, I can't say it, the fucking archetype name, Overlord, Karus, the Light, Ragnarika. Okay, I, had I had the wrong fucking card. Wait a minute. Give me a second. Alright, give him a second. I, I'm looking at my master real quick. Because <laughs> mm. I was trying getting prepped for it. Anyways, sorry. Uh, and then. Three Narias, the Remnant. Three Nunus, the, the other Remnant. We have Ragnarika, Armored Lizard. One Samurai Beetle. Three copies of Ash and Valor. Three of the Evil Seed. Two Water Lily. Uh, it's changed the one in, my, in Master Duel, but uh, one Pot of Prosperity. Snake Rain, because... Oh. Snake Rain. Yes, it's... it. Like, yes, of course we're going to play Reptile Rekindling. And we got Triple Tactics Talent. We got two Call Buys and Master Duel. We got two Daybreaks, which is very fucking nice. Uh, two Ragnarika Blooms. Three Imperm. One Ragnarika Hunting Dance. One Serpentine Princess. And what, is, what, what does Serpentine Princess do, if you don't mind me asking? And how does it feed this into the deck? Uh, or is it a Snake Ray target? If, if this card is a... Uh, Shuffle from the field onto your deck, especially some of the level 3 or lower monster from your deck. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Ragnarik is spelled a soldier. You can target one bright, you can read the monster in your graveyard. It's supposed to summon a defense position if this card is in your graveyard. You can target one insect, play a direct on monster control, place it at the bottom of the deck. And if you do, you're supposed to summon this card. You can only use each once per turn, each effect once per turn. Also, you cannot special summon during the turn. You have to be except it's a plant, a plant, insect, and reptile locks you. Okay. So she's a funny target for her. <laughs> For a oh, skeletal soldier. Interesting. And that allows you to yeah. link climb up to the link three. Yeah, essentially. Nice. Anyway, so and the last card in the main deck, play a pollutant violent virus. Tribute an alien monster, throw off face and monster without a contact your opponent controls. Until the end of this turn uh, until the end of your th opponent's third turn activation plus one eight can be these monsters. Jesus Christ. Anyway, and then we get to the extra deck. We got Malusian. One of the handful of good reptilians. Two kings of the feral imps. Naturally, it is it, it, the, the one, one of the only Sabre. one of the only reptile cards that was worth playing in the extra deck for such a long time. We got stag sovereign. Sabre. What does this do? The, uh, if if a monster is a special summon from your opponent's deck and or extra deck. You can destroy two monsters on the field. Fun! If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one uh, IPR monster. You control it. That's um, just, just the abbreviation for instinct, yeah. plant, and reptile. Place on the bottom of the deck. And if you do special summon this card, also you can and, and it IPR locks you. And one, it's so yeah, fun fact. Card. All the Ragnar Echo links have that uh, re-summon from grave. So that's why we're telling it separate team princess. It's kind of good. Because it's, it's just... And it, oh, I want to also note that Serpentine Princess... Is one of is a boomer card and therefore does not have a once per turn clause. I mean, yeah, but she usually she gets played at the bottom of the deck, so you can use her for anything because you can't summon herself. Right. Holy hell! Yep, and we got oils. old pink oils. Waifu bait. No, also hand trap negate. Oh shit! Huh? Oh, that's actually brilliant. And we have a burgial answer because you know playing plants. You know, plant plant access code go burr. The Mr. Krabs himself. <laughs> no, no, this is why we call it, this is why it's called a zero lock. 
right? If your monsters your opponent controls with eight counters or change the defense position, also neither player can activate their effects. Okay. You can only use each of the following effects of the once return. In this card's link summon, you can add one card to your deck that has an effect that puts eight counters to trap. You can remove two AK mount counters from anywhere on the field and immediately after this effect resolve the most of the monster. Oh, so it's just a plus one war crime. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, he's a floodgate. Got it. He's a floodgate, a plus one, and a uh, um, a search all in one. That's crazy. Trap. Oh, we got the. We got. Yep. All right. We got next. Right, Mantis this, search is the Ragnar this, so, this is pretty much the searcher for the trap. Fun. Hmm. Target will card your opponent control up to the number of different monster types among the monster control that are in the IPRs. Destroy them. If a face up IPR monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect while it's pressing your graveyard, except through except there. You can banish this card, then target one monster that controls, destroy it. Fun. So that's clutch. Uh we have to catch a predator link three. You gonna read all its effect? Oh yeah, sure. Uh this uh link summon card is on effect with trap effects. Forest trap tricks shenanigans. All trap tricks monsters gain blah blah whatever. Once returning into our facial cards or controls up to the number of insect and plant monsters users you control and negate their effects, then you can banish one normal trap from your graveyard if you destroy one of those targeted face up cards. So she's a part of the board breaking. So I see, I see the extra deck is very diverse in terms of options and effects. Alien shock. Oh, more alien support. Uh, discover monster plus eight counter. Okay, so just more eight counter generation. Holy shit. Fucking ass is just fucking inhaled one. <laughs> hmm. SP. Yep, token SP. Uh, Reptilian Aguina. He destroys the semi turtle with his monster controls. You know, reptile. Add one reptile monster with different names from your deck to your hand. Up to the number of monsters to zero attack. So. Uh, so, worst case scenario, you're searching one monster. Yeah, and, it's, and it's totally reptile locks you. Yeah. Okay, so that... Honestly, that, she's probably... She, she, uh, if nothing else, she's probably bait. bait. Yeah, and, or like when you are genuinely bricked up and need something to break. Wait, do I have a fucking reptile tuner? No, I don't. She's also fucking pot P bait. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I mean, honestly, like the decks. Um, uh, can I make can I make a controversial suggestion, Chara? What? I have found that replacing, uh, two of the like the two two of your three ashes with a ghost collar and a ghost ogre has led to more. Uh, usable going second hands, and has been and it has been and I've been changing like the decks where I run three uh, Ash Blossom. I've been doing that and it has been awesome. I always because, have three Ash Blossom. There is nothing you can say to not have me take three Ash Blossom. I'm sorry. I I, I get it. I get it. But you know, uh, I I found that you know the the turns where you end up with like two Ash Blossom in hand. You know, you know it's a dead card, but it versus opening with Ash Blossom, and then subsequently, instead of opening with the second Ash, I get like a Ghost Caller or, or Ghost Ogre. I get more points of interaction. I found that when deck yeah, the that deck is kind of tight when it comes to it, so that's why my nine non engine is going to be Imperm, Effect Veiler, and Ash or yes. Tactics. That's why I was suggesting it, just because and like because, back, of course. because that's why I was suggesting it because it's so tight. That like having when you like lowering the risk of having dead cards in hand is like that's all I was suggesting. Imperm and Effect Veil are non ones per turn, so this is a non that, that they're non a non issue. Ash Blossom is ones per turn. That's why I usually do it, especially in a tight deck like this. That's why I run uh, one of each of Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, and Ghost Caller um, in my Boys and Swords deck, and it has that has also been a contributor as to why I have been winning games. I will have been like drawing multiples of like you know the, the multiple ghost girls and because like I have multiple different ghost girls I have that switch. That's just me. Don't be don't be. But yeah. Anywho, um, shall uh, let's uh, if I may, let's uh, 
thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to the, today's Maths with Master Goal Roundtable. Uh, we have, uh, we will be back next week. Um, hopefully, um, thank, if you want to go, if you want to follow everybody, you can find, um, uh, Digi at, at twitch.tv, uh, slash tdw underscore uh 8021 you can find zero also at that same link but replace the 8021 with a 0333 um and uh you can find achara at go to my Die. channel and then i didn't have it pulled up because i don't remember the last two fucking numbers in your weird ass thing at not at youtube.com slash not chara 662 and you can subscribe there, or you can. He's also a moderator in my uh, Discord, so you can add him at your own risk if you want to plug him in our general public. Links to the Discord are in the description, as well as thanks to everybody's channel are also in the description. There is a risk of death in, uh, in this video. On YouTube. Um, we will be back uh, next week. Um, and remember, everybody, if you want to uh, listen in while these are being recorded, make sure to join the Discord. We record these. Uh, the uh, the the videos are come out on Thursdays at three p.m. But we we do we we French. Uh, we record these in the when in in the, in the Yu Gi Oh studio in our Discord um every week at around nine p.m. on Wednesdays. So come check it out. Come check us out. We'd love to have you. Uh, and I'm gonna send you to pre-recorded Evan now. Mm -hmm. Toodaloo. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.